Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. Well, as I mentioned before the break, it was a very typical July afternoon. The heat, the humidity, pop-up thunderstorms, and now things fading away. A quiet evening underway. We really dropped the, the chances for precipitation over the next couple of days. Our next best chance of more numerous showers and storms looks to arrive sometime between late Tuesday evening and through much of the day on Wednesday. But it is going to turn very hot, very humid beginning tomorrow. I mentioned the heat advisory for most of the tri-state. We'll touch on that here in just a second. But again, we had a few of those pop up showers and storms that were strong, some heavy downpours and even some instances of flash flooding on the far east side of Evansville, close to the Warwick Vandenberg County line with that one storm that was severe. A lot of lightning frequent uh, at times in some locations, but now again, as you can see, the activity pushing to the east and what we did have here locally has since faded away. So it looks like no issues uh, outside of the muggy conditions for this evening. We should be dry and good to go for any Saturday night plans you may have here across the tri-state. Again, primarily over the same areas really along and north of the Ohio River from basically Carmi over to New Harmony and then down to the southeast again Evansville, Newburgh and then over to Boonville uh, letting up a little bit then over to the uh, Holland area uh, just southwest of Dubois County there uh, earlier this afternoon. Here's a closer look at some of the totals. Again we had a couple of cells basically going over the same locations redeveloping and thankfully it was at least fading away and fairly short-lived uh, to not create any major flash flooding uh, concerns but our Doppler radar estimated basically an inch to nearly 2.2 inches, at least an estimate there, just south of Boonville in south central Warwick County. Another core there just above an inch in northeastern Warwick County. But again, a much different scene right now. Most of us, though, as you just saw, didn't see a drop of rain at all. So places like Central City from our Austin Homes Tower camera, quite a bit of sunshine. And it's been uh, quiet for the most part across western Kentucky. That's the view right now down just north of Central City. On the Owensboro Riverfront downtown, looking nice, clear skies. Our Bill Morgan Roofing and Construction Tower camera looking A-OK -okay and a hazy horizon as we look towards the the east side of Evansville. This was a very active tower camera earlier, Diamond Valley Federal Credit Ca uh, Union tower camera uh, showing those heavy downpours earlier this afternoon with the storms that just kept rolling on through. We did drop briefly all the way down to 79 degrees at the airport after those storms moved through, jumping back up now to 86 in Evansville, pushing 90 across western Kentucky, 89 for Calhoun and Greenville as well, and Carmi recovering from that cooled air earlier today as well, back up to 87 degrees. But much of the tri-state, with the exception of our far northern U.S. 50 counties and along U.S. 231 uh, to the east, uh, Dubois, Perry, and uh, Hancock and Ohio counties. Uh, so the Indianapolis and Louisville National Weather Service offices have yet to add those counties to the heat advisory. But any way you look at it, if you're in the advisory or not, it's going to be hot, very humid for tomorrow. That runs through uh, beginning tomorrow afternoon, expiring Monday evening. Could potentially have another advisory for maybe part of the tri-state Tuesday, but we should start to see more cloud cover, and it may keep temperatures a touch cooler. Not by much if it is, uh, but we'll see that uh, play out as we go into the first part of next week. But again, the rain fading away, moving to the east, out towards the west. Dry conditions as well. It's a very typical summer-like pattern. Heat of the day, things bubble up and things fade away once the sun starts to go down. We cool down as well. So nothing really organized in our future until we get to late Tuesday night, early Wednesday. Future Tracker keeps us quiet for the rest of the evening as we fall through the 80s over the next couple of hours and then slowly through the 70s overnight tonight. I think we'll settle essentially between 70 to 75 degrees for overnight lows. And that's going to kickstart a very hot very humid end to the weekend with that heat advisory going into effect. Temperatures in the mid 90s tomorrow. Heat index values likely above the 100 degree range, likely closer to 105 in a lot of places. So definitely want to uh, take your precautions, stay hydrated, uh, dress cool if you can, and maybe just stay inside the next few days as well to avoid the heat outside and uh, definitely uh, try not to do any strenuous activity. Same story Monday, mid, maybe even a few locations pushing the upper 90s. So even a better chance of feels like temperatures at around 105. But we should get a little bit of relief by the middle of the week with showers and storms pushing through Tuesday night and early Wednesday. But again, a warm and muggy evening as we fall through the 80s down the low 70s tonight and then tomorrow low to mid 90s for your uh, Sunday afternoon plenty of sunshine showers and storms look to arrive after sunset on Tuesday evening still hot and very humid 96 the high but down to the upper 80s on Wednesday with showers and storms likely early drying out by Thursday and check that out below normal temperatures and no humidity for the second half of next week